teams often lose productivity due to poor communication between teams, causing miscommunication and duplicating work efforts. Leaders should focus on improving team communication by using best practices and avoiding the silo effect. A silo on a farm prevents different grains from mixing. This can be compared to each team within an organization existing within individual silos. A lack of information, communication, and common goals between teams is referred to as the silo effect. Siloed employees show a reluctance to integrate their efforts with employees in other functions of the organization. Silos can be formed in individual teams such as development, marketing, customer service, and so on when the emphasis is not placed on external communications. This is often due to prioritizing fiscal performance per team. Leadership must promote teamwork and cooperation in order to increase performance, which will result in lower costs for the organization. Even if teams communicate effectively among themselves, they may not communicate with others outside of their team. The most common result of the silo effect is that productivity suffers. When teams are not collaborating together, they tend to work separately on similar goals. If they would combine their skill sets and tasks, they could achieve their goals faster. One of the major causes of the silo effect is having an us versus them mentality between teams within an organization. I've seen this mentality in action very often between development and marketing or strategy teams. To avoid this mentality, Managers should facilitate communications between teams in a positive manner and also shut down complaints in favor of constructive criticism. Another cause of the silo effect is conflicting priorities among teams. Conflicting priorities can reinforce siloed behavior because they're often tied to goals with compensation. This can drive teams to prioritize their own tasks in order to meet their goals. Sometimes conflicting priorities are unavoidable, but managers should strive to align the priorities across all teams. Silos can also exist within teams. You need to ensure that you're not propagating the silo effect mentality within your team. You should make sure that your physical office space is conducive to collaboration as well as the communication technologies that you use for remote and hybrid employees. You can also move your employees around on different projects so that they have a chance to work with as many people as possible. When you sit on video calls all day, you may experience video call fatigue. It is important to consider the communication channels for remote employees especially so you do not overschedule them. Practicing empathy is also a good way to promote camaraderie. When you and your team are understanding of the lives of others outside of work, this will help to form strong bonds on your team. Working remotely, we're often faced with having to take care of children or family members during the workday or something else that takes us away from our keyboards for a moment. It's important not to expect instant replies from your team all day long. If they're productive, it shouldn't matter if they're late to a meeting once in a while. Promoting over-communication is a great way to avoid under-communication, which of course leads to miscommunication. You should strive to strike a good balance so that you do not over-communicate so much that your messages are actually distracting to your coworkers. You can learn more about meeting preparedness and engagement in my Pluralsight course, Fostering Effective Team Collaboration and Communication. This course includes animated, scenario-based training, and you'll watch as a management team implements a communication plan to lead a self-managing team. By the end of this course, you will be able to establish a communication plan, avoid miscommunication, 
and provide your team with the tools for successful collaboration. Visit hofstech.com slash team collab to get started with a free trial today. How are you going to avoid the silo effect in your workplace? Let me know in the comments and please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.